supposed to do now get out of the way so no. I can finish the job move it no man. I'm calling an ambulance you're Gregor. doing nothing of the kind are you out of your mind the man is dying well, of course he is that's what he was supposed to do not like this said. he wasn't supposed to oh you were supposed to have killed him I shouldn't even have to be here now pull yourself together boy we got work to do Robert he was safe I am not giving you the brush off well then why do I get the feeling that you're not giving me your undivided attention. Because I have a patient waiting for me outside the hospital. Oh, I knew it. You're seeing somebody else. I certainly am. That's what I do for a living, and I happen to be late for this one. Seems like only yesterday I was patient of the month. How soon they forget, huh? You come to me with something serious, and we'll get into it. I'm telling you, Luke, it's fine. Well, how about telling it to the knee here? You just wrenched it slightly. Give it a couple of days. It's going to be as good as new. And if it isn't? It will be. Stay. All right, I believe you. You are the expert. I certainly am, so why don't you listen to me? Well, it sure doesn't hurt Just like something on. simple. Are you sure you don't want it to give me x-rays or chemotherapy or something? Since when did Luke Spencer become a hypochondriac? Since you decided you don't want to treat me anymore. That's not true when you know it. Get the heel there. <laughs> I can't, Luke. <laughs> I knew you were real anxious to get out and see this other patient. I mean, who, who is he anyway? Mr. America or something? If he were, would I be standing here chatting with you? I would hope so. Luke, even if I did not have another appointment, I would not take x-rays of that knee. Why not? Because I don't think it's anything serious. That's why. Now, if you want me to set you up with another doctor to see you, I will be happy to do that, but I've got to go. Well, wait a minute. What about Dr. Putnam? Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. He hasn't checked in yet. Sorry. Are you sure you didn't come in when you weren't looking or something? Yes, I had to uh, call him for a consultation on something just a little while ago, and he wasn't anywhere around. Will, will anybody else be all right for you. No, I don't want to see anybody who's not familiar with my case. All right, can you wait? For you? Yes, yes, I will come back later, all right? If you want to stick around, I will come back later. I will give you a complete examination from top to toe, okay? Yeah, I think I'll take you up on that if you're sure you haven't got time to do it right I'm now. I'm positive, Luke. I'll see you later. So guilty. Just 
Because you and I made love? That's silly. No, 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 hardly, hardly. Because I kept the diner closed all day. You had me worried there for a you minute. You know, I can't remember the last time I did that. What about making love? When was the last time you did that? Why? I'm oh, just curious. I mean, uh, was it a lot? You know me better than that. Just kidding, just kidding. Mm. Mm. Well, would it make a difference if I did? Oh, definitely. The old double standard and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You know me better than that. Anyway, my hunch is that you... That's not your style. You need something special. Like what we have. Or at least, that's the way I feel about it. Me too. Mm, it has been a while, I must say. I, uh... I really haven't been with that many men. There was Patty. No, but I've, I've told you all about him. Tough act to follow. Yeah, he stopped the show. It took me a long time to even think about seeing anyone after he died. And, uh, and the few times that I did, well, just wasn't special. Like it is with us. You know, it's funny how you always know. I mean, you always go into it hoping that this is going to be the one, but you just know when it really is. I mean, all the wishing in the world ain't going to do anything if the sparks ain't happening. And if they are? Fireworks. Mm. Mm. Oh, who could that be? Who cares? We're closed, remember? The sign's out. If they can't read, it's their problem. Mm, it might be important. Oh, yeah. Some dock worker can't take another step without a cup of Rose's coffee. But it might be an emergency. This is a diner, not a hospital. But listen, if I don't... If I don't... <laughs> what? Do what they what? want, we're not going to get any peace. We're not going to get any peace if you do, Trust that's me, for listen. sure. Trust me. I'll get rid of it. Oh, Rose, hi. Hi, Connie. Oh, Jake. Afternoon. Listen, is there something I can do for you? Yeah, I'm looking for Luke. What happened to the walking tour of the waterfront? I expect to see a huge crowd of people down here. Yeah, well, you're a little late. Uh, I got held up talking to Robert, and, and then I went down to the dock, and it, was, it became obvious I was the only one waiting for him, so I got worried, so I thought I'd ask you. Uh, I'm sorry, I saw your sign. Uh, I hope I didn't interrupt. Nah. No sweat. We were just getting ready to make something to eat. So, do you know what happened to Luke? Well, his walking tour got cut short. Why? And well, he fell off this crate and he wrenched his knee. He what? Yeah, they took him over to General. Uh, it's all right. He's all right. He's all right. I mean, he just walked away on his own steam. <laughs> Couldn't be too Listen, serious. Listen, if I talk to him, you want me to tell him you're looking for him? No, I'll go into the hospital. I'll find him. Say You're imagining things. I am not. I couldn't believe it. She practically said, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Natalie wouldn't shortchange you. You're her favorite patient. She acted like I was trying to sell her insurance. You think she plays golf? What does that have to do with anything? Well, you know what they say about doctors. That's a cliche, Lou. Well, maybe it's not a cliche about therapists. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, uh, she couldn't take a couple of minutes off to, uh, to, to look at my knee? She did look at your knee. Yeah, well, she barely glanced at it. When she saw me here in the hub, she made a decision that fast that there was nothing seriously wrong with it. Luke, Natalie is a very good therapist, right? Yeah, when she wants to be. And your friend? I thought so. Well, then why don't you just give her the benefit of the doubt? Maybe she really could tell there was nothing wrong with your knee just by looking at it. Well, anybody can tell there's something wrong with There's it. It, it, it. Any luck? Nope. Tried Connie at the casino. No answer. She must have left. Ah, oh, great. The way things are going, you know, I'm not surprised. All right, get away from him, Grant. Did you hear me? Now pull yourself together. We've got work to do. What do you want me to do? Give me what there is of the new disc and the microfilm. Come on. Let me have it. Come on. All right, now 
Now move out of the way. What are you doing? Make this look like a suicide, don't we? What the hell was that for? Insurance. Get home. He was already life. dead. You didn't have to do that. Of course I did. Use your head. First shot was fired from a distance. The simplest ballistic test will show that it wasn't suicide. The second shot eliminates all trace of the first. But what about the bullet? You don't think they're going to find both of them? You, you expect them to believe he shot himself twice? It's not that unlikely. Sometimes an involuntary spasm causes a second shot. Oh, dear this God. This is standard procedure, Grant. Oh, Gregory, Gregory, you sound so callous! Let's get going. Come on, we're in a hurry. Let's go, Grant. There's a boat waiting for us at Pier 67. I intend to see that you're on it. Now, come on. Move, move, move. with a few more tomatoes? Why, uh, yeah. You know, compliment the flowers. It'll be like uh, making love in a bed of garden. <laughs> a bed of garden. A garden, garden bed? Or a bed of roses. <laughs> You're too wealthy for me, Jake. You I guess you're now. right. We're perfect just the way we are. Well, good. The best. I mean, anything else pales in comparison. Even my salad. I'm afraid so. Oh, I don't know whether to be flattered or offended. Why? What, I'm a great lover, but a lousy cook? I can't win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what now? This is a diner. Not today it isn't. Does this happen every day? No, generally the door isn't locked. People don't tend to knock before they enter a restaurant. <clears throat> really? Mm -hmm. Do you learn all sorts of interesting bits of information mm -hmm. here? To... You sure do, like how to get rid of unwanted customers. No, I'll tell you how to do that. You don't answer it. But they could stand out there and knock all night. Great. If they can keep a beat, will they? <laughs> Haven't you had enough exercise for one? No. Come on, let's go back upstairs. Well, I think I'd better see who it is. Oh, tell them you reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Make that everyone. But it could be somebody else looking for Luke. You don't have him. Well, then, if you just relax, I'll find out what they want and send them on their merry way. Famous last words. You just watch a pro at work. Uh -huh. Well, isn't this a surprise? Well, and why should it be now? I I just didn't expect to see you, that's all. David, I, I'd like to know who else you'd find in New York, Captain Wheeler. What do you mean? Look at your stuff, you're not even dressed yet. Yes. Dressed for what? For what? Well, surely Rosie Kelly isn't forgetting the Daughters of Ireland meeting. Uh, that's right. Oh, 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 we go every month. I, I, I know, I just slipped my mind. Oh, I'd like to know what could be more important. No, you wouldn't. Oh, well, I suppose there's no harm in it. But hurry up and get yourself dressed, and, and I'll just wait down here. <gasps> Him again, is it? Apparently, our meeting isn't the only thing you've forgotten. I wish a word with you, Rosie Kelly, in private. Well, what are you going to do? Uh, well, I was going to stick around and wait for Natalie, but, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, my leg is feeling a little better. Maybe she was right. Told you. Yeah, you did. I guess I'll just stop whining about it and stay off it for a few days. Well, I think that makes sense. I mean, you've done so well, why mess it up? That's right. Uh, why mess it up? There you are. Oh, hi. <laughs> tried to reach you. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I had this little accident. Yeah, so I heard. I didn't find you down at the docks. I went over to Kelly's. And... Well, Rose said that you'd come down here. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried to call you, but there was no answer. Well, I left for the docks as soon as I could get away. How's the leg? Well, actually, it's my knee, but, uh... Sorry. Well, has anybody looked at it? Natalie gave it a very thorough ten-second examination. That's it. What? Uh, she was in a hurry to see some other patient. It's... it's... She suggested I wait, but I'm really kind of tired of hanging around here, and I think I'm making everybody else tired of me, so, uh, <laughs> we'll leave. If you want, I can set you up with another therapist, or I can see if one of the doctors is available, and you can have x-rays no. taken if you want. No, Barbara, thank you very much, but, uh, I already went through that with Natalie. There's nobody I would like to see it, except maybe Dr. Putnam, if he's around. He's not in. Okay. Well, listen, 
Why don't we go over to the park and have a picnic? We can pick up some food from the deli. That sounds good. I missed lunch. Well, good. So did I. That way, when we're done over there, we can come back here. You can see Natalie, get a thorough examination, so uh, you don't worry. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> what do you say, Ruby? You want to join us? Honey, I got to work for a living. Oh, no. <laughs> Bobby? No, why don't you two go ahead? I think I'll make up a shift. I might as well do it while I have the time. Uh, D.L. still in New York? Mm-hmm. You hear from him? Not a word. You're worried? I'm getting there. Well, no news is... That's true. I just can't help wondering. Well, wait till you see smoke before you start screaming fire now. Right. <laughs> well, it'll work out. Why don't you go and have fun, and I will tell Natalie that you'll be back. Okay. Got that message clear. I'll see y'all later, huh? All right. Let's roll. See ya. Watch it. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll hobble. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ballantyne's office. Is Mr. Ballantyne there? He's gone for the day. Good. Destruct. Repeat. Destruct. Any sign of Natalie? None. Nobody showed since I've been here. We can't wait any longer. We've got to get you on the boat and out of the country. Now, I'm going to give to you the half-completed disc and the microfilm. You're to deliver them to the DVX, you understand? Well, how will I know? How will they contact me? They'll meet you as soon as you arrive in the port. I don't have to remind you that you're carrying a very special cargo. I understand. Sorry. What happened? I ran into Lucas. I was on my way out of the hospital. What do you want? Well, he hurt his knee and he kept after me to look at it. And I got out of there as quickly as I could, but then I ran into this terrible traffic jam right. on my it's way right. down Forget here. About it. Forget about it. No, it's not, because even though I spent a few minutes looking at it, I think Luke is suspicious. I got out of there as it fast as It doesn't matter anymore, Natalie. We've completed the mission. Gerald? He's been disposed of. Any problems? Well, it's done. That's all that matters for now. Here is what he managed to finish of the disc. That's yours. And this is the microphone. Oh, my God. Was something wrong? The microfilm's been cut. What? This is only half the calculations. It's no good without the rest of it. What are we going to do, Gregory? Isn't it terrific? What can you do? The only person who could have given you those missing calculations is now dead. to be loved by a good man, though for a while there I came pretty close. You've been few and far between, and I miss that. I need this kind of relationship, Mrs. Clancy, and I think I've found it. Oh, I, I can't, I can't believe my own ears. You of all people. Well, why should I be any different? Everybody needs somebody. But like this? Well, I know you must be shocked, but, but just please try to understand. Well, I understand only too well. You're, you're carrying on like some kind of a loose woman, Rosie Kelly. Oh, thank the good Lord, Patty can't see you. God rest his soul. I think he'd approve. What? I, he would know how hard it's been for me. He doesn't want me to be lonely. Okay. He would expect me to get down, out there and do something about it, Mrs. Clancy. He was never one to let a, a bed stay empty for oh, long. such talk. And him your husband. He was, but, but he's gone. There's nothing I can do to bring him back. And I certainly don't intend to stay in mourning for the rest of my life. I know what I want. That one? Mm-hmm. That's 
right. For how long? For as long as it lasts. Well, this Mr. Meyer is... Is he someone you're considering for a permanent relationship? To tell you the truth, I really don't know. But I would like to think so, but things change. Oh, that they do. This is the best way I know to find out whether or not Jake and I should stay together. Oh, dear. I don't mean to upset you, mm. Mrs. Clancy, but you asked. You asked. You asked. Oh. Well, uh, this Mr. Meyer... Jake. Uh, a good man, is he? They don't come any better. Well, at least there's that. But as lovely as a man as he may be, there is still a matter of his upbringing. He is not of our faith. Is that really such a problem? Well, it is if you have children. I don't have any children. Oh, <laughs> well, you, you will. I mean, surely you don't intend not to have them. What I'm saying is if I do have children, I'll raise them in my own way. Thank you. I don't need the rest of the community. To oh, well, you don't have to get short with me. I've only got your own welfare at heart. I appreciate that, but it's my problem. And I'll deal with it when and if I have to. The moment I have better things to do. Oh, I can well imagine. Then you won't mind leaving me to them, will you? Besides, you want to be getting on to your meeting now, don't you? You don't want to be late. Well, so you're not going to come with us. No, I'm not. Not tonight. Well, I... well, you just make sure and give my regards to the Daughters of Ireland now, won't you? And I, I'll be just fine. Don't you worry about me. Well done. That woman. You got just what was coming to her. Well, judging from your performance, I'd say that you've kept intact your entire heritage. That Irish temper is still there. Remind me not to cross you. Come on, tough guy. We've got a salad to finish. It was like some great Z spy movie, you know? Your boyfriend and his boyfriends followed me around all day. He is not my boyfriend. Close enough. It was very weird, though. He's the only uh, sheik I ever met, and I've met a lot of sheiks in my time, you know. Hmm. Oh, yeah. But he's the only one <laughs> that was, has ever been interested in poor Charles' politics. I don't know. There I was, so I'm up on this crate, and he just kicks it out from under me. You're kidding. No. I guess he didn't care for the speech. Are you sure he was aiming for the crate? <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, I guess my leg would be hurting a lot more than it does. No, you want some more of this? No. Well... Anyway, so he kicks the crate, and I went flying. Maybe I should have let him buy me. Yeah, well, that, that thought occurred to me, too. You know, apart from uh, 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 that little interruption, it was a fairly successful walking tour. It must be me. I certainly don't seem to be bringing you much luck these days. Who asked you to, sweetheart? I take care of my own luck, thanks. True. If you hadn't gone up against uh, Lawrence of Arabia to save me, none of this would happen. Well, you take your chances. You win some, you lose some. And this time you didn't win. <laughs> no, I didn't at all. I don't know. Well, maybe I did. I still have you. That's true. And I'm not going to sell you. How's your name? Uh, oh, it's all right. Do you think you'll live? I'm afraid so. It uh, hurts a little bit, but not as much as it did. I guess Natalie was right then. Yeah. It really ticks me off, too. Why? Because I hate to be wrong. Well, would you rather there's something seriously wrong with it? No. No, Natalie probably knew what she was doing. Luckily for you. Well, I'm on a roll today in terms of luck. How about let's get out of here and go on home, huh? Come on, we're right around the corner from General Hospital. Why don't we finish up here and we can stop over there. Natalie can give you a thorough examination. No. Who knows? She could have to amputate. Oh. I can hardly wait for that. That's impossible. We have no choice. You're going to have to stay here in Port Charles till we recover the other half of that microfilm. No, I won't do it. It wasn't a request, comrade. 
Why don't you just turn me into the police now, Gregory, and get it over with? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? Who do you think the first person they're going to come looking for is once they discover the body? Gerald's death will look like a suicide to the police. Nothing that's happened so far is going to endanger no, your That is, until they stumble across the body. And how long will that be? Hmm? One day, two days, three days? The man was a virtual recluse, practically lived in the laboratory. He had no family, very few friends. It could take a week before they discover that body, and if that's the case, decomposition will have set in so thoroughly they won't even be able to establish the time of death. But he would still need an and alibi. And we'll see that he gets one. You won't even fall under suspicion. Uh, not that you give a damn what happens to me. Oh, but I do. Now more than ever. Why? Tell me why, Gregory. The mission is finished, and so am I. Not just yet. What good is he to us now? Do you remember Gerald's last words? Something about Robert. Robert, keep it safe. It's obvious. Scorpio's got the other half of the microfilm. Now all we have to do is get it from him. Oh, yeah, that's all. That's all. The man happens to be commissioner of police and an ex-WSB agent. And your friend. You're the only access we have to him. Natalie or I, we could stand a chance of getting close. Oh, no. No, Gregory. No, Gerald was one thing, but Robert, not a chance. There's also the possibility, however slim, that Gerald may have left you some of his papers and his will, along with his other possessions. Either way, you're our only chance, and you will stay in Port Charles until we get that microfilm. Now, you already have the half-completed disc, correct? All right, you deliver that to the DVX. I'm going to hang on to this half of the microfilm to make sure it matches with the other half when we get it. Right. Off you go. We've wasted enough time. And good luck. Now, as far as your alibi goes, I think I've got something that will cover both of you. Why me? I already have one. Yes, but yours has to support his. You understand? Now. You were on your way to the hospital, at least that's where Celia expects you to be, correct? And you told Luke that you were on your way to visit a patient? All right, your car breaks down, strands you on the side of the road. You're driving by, you see him, naturally you stop to help. Okay, so far so good. Unfortunately, you have a little accident. Your hand gets smashed in the car door, so he takes your car, drives you to the hospital, so that it can be treated. Do you have any problems with that? Well, it's fine, Gregory, except for one thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with my hand. 